Hey there everyone, my name is Elizabeth Pajowski and today I'm outside of Flamingo Drive in Glen Burnie. We're in northern Glen Burnie. This is another remodeled home. Nice fresh paint job. Everything is nice and clean, 100% move-in ready. As you can see here, this is a nice quiet neighborhood. Quiet street. Everyone seems to take good care of their homes. This home's pretty big. It's if you're looking, the inside layout is ideal. It's what you want. You have all the bedrooms in one corner of the house. You have a living room, dining room, big open kitchen, finished basement, nice big backyard. But the exterior is something different. It doesn't look like every other house that you see. So before you know, we'll get to the we'll get to the uh, carport later. Let's start with the front entrance way. As you can see, you have this really nice custom tile work. It's a nice grand entrance. Not only that, for functional purposes, I mean, it's a rainy day. You need to get in, put the keys in the door, and here you are, nice and dry. Under your nice covered porch area. Love the colors. So we enter into the house, and as you can see we have a nice open living room, dark pergo floors, look really nice, the wood really warms the, um, really warms the room up. And the custom paint colors, I mean of course you're free to paint the rooms whatever you want, but there's nice neutral tones right now inside the house. It really make you feel good when you walk in. You feel relaxed. So this is the living room. We'll walk down the hallway. So you can see it opens up. Here's the first bedroom. And on the listing, the bedroom sizes um, are listed. I measured them all. They're all good sized bedrooms. The smallest one is 11 by 11, so that should give you an idea. Here's the second bedroom. I'm just going to show you how nice it is to look out into the huge, spacious backyard. But we'll get to that later. New carpet. The closets are very deep in this house. There are a couple of feet, as you can see, and that's a pretty big basket. So I would say they're like maybe three feet deep. Here's the master. So you have two bedrooms, and they're pretty spacious, especially the one to the left here. You could definitely fit bunk beds if you needed to double up. Nice, plenty of sunlight coming in. Again, I'm just showing the uh, spacious closet. This one's the master. That's the fan blowing that you hear. So we have this beautiful bathroom. New vanity, new tile. I think it's basically all brand new. This one's the master. It's a pretty spacious master. It's not like this little closet bathroom. There's definitely room to walk around. Okay, so that's the first full bath. The second full bath is down this way. This bathroom's nice too if you have guests. It's right off the living room. Again, all new tile work. I like that it's a nice big toilet, one that you could sit on. And a new vanity, a mirror, and all that good stuff. So that's the second full bath. Okay, as we go through this um, archway, we have a full living room, or not full living room, full dining room. Again, plenty of natural light coming in. And off of the dining room, 
This is the spacious kitchen. So as you can see, there's all new cabinets, all new stainless steel appliances. These are granite counters, nice undermount sink with the modern faucet head, you know, pull down. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of light in here as well. Here's the, you can look out onto your car, the carport. And I'm just going to, let me pan back this way so you can see. There's a lot of space. Right now it's set up with a little eating area. There's your brand new stainless steel refrigerator. Turning down this way is the basement. Fully finished. Well, actually, not fully finished, mostly finished, but there's a good amount of storage space also. So, this is the family room. Let me just close this door. Big, spacious family room. Over here to the left, this is the guest bedroom. Again, very spacious. You could even leave this as a guest bedroom and then partition the back part off as another room, maybe an office. Because you have plenty of space. I like that there's lots of windows. You still have the natural light. Okay. And then over this way is your half bath. So this house has two and a half bathrooms. So when you're sitting down here watching the big game, no need to run up the stairs. You have a bathroom right here. And as you can see again, it has the nice ceramic tile, big spacious toilet, new vanity, and lights and mirror. And then over here is the spacious and finished area that I was talking about. It's semi-finished. As you can see, you have a brand new hot water heater. Even though this is a concrete floor, everything is fresh and clean. Really, no, nothing is needed to move into this house. And then you have a brand new washer dryer in the back corner. And then here's another um, entranceway to the outside. I'm going to take you up outside uh, through the covered porch out back. So we come up the stairs. Really weatherproof that door. <laughs> no traps are getting in. So, as you can see, you have this nice, big, spacious fenced yard. You let the dogs run around or the kids. Sidewalks. There's your central AC. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm under a nice covered awning. This is where the grill could go, right off the kitchen, off the back porch. And then we come down here. Love the magnolia tree. I'm a big fan of magnolias. They bloom really beautifully in the spring, and as you can see, it's winter time right now, but they're still it still has all its leaves. And I'm just showing off. There's the carport to the left. So you have covered parking, and this is a really big house. It's deceiving from the front, but as you can see with the grading, you can see the two levels and the additions. It's a, it's a big house. So I think that about concludes the tour. If you have any questions, um, if you'd like to see this home for yourself, please don't hesitate to give me or my brother Steve a call. Thanks and have a great day.